right guys, check it out. I just got back from the UK for the DFS Formula Hair Show with two of my close friends, P Cuts and CJ the Barber, who both work for Wall. They were bragging about the Hot Viz trimmer. And you can see when I got home, I had a box waiting for me. So I believe that's what's in here. Let's go ahead, flip to this camera, open up this box and see what it is. All right, so I lied. So we can't switch to that camera because it is too zoomed in and you guys can't see anything anyway. So let's go ahead, cut the box open. We'll get the package out and then we'll flip to the camera. All right, guys, so on top was this little pamphlet introducing the wall high vis trimmer all in the details while professional live in the details with the high vis trimmer. I'm not going to read all this. I'm sure it's going to be all in here on the box, but uh, we'll go ahead and open this up. Sean, thank you for supporting the wall brand. Keep crushing it and taking over the industry. Can't wait to hear your thoughts on the new high vis trimmer. Excellence lies in the details. I can't really read the signature. I'm not sure who that was the soon to me. Looks like maybe Aaron or Adam. Believe it or not, guys, I don't really have any contacts at Wall aside from a couple of their educators. You guys have been watching the channel. I actually bought my own senior to do a video on. I think I bought that Magic Clip or Fort Worth Senate, but so this is one of the first packages from Wall themselves, but looking forward to checking it out. This is some serious packaging here. We got plastic with a box. It is wrapped in bubble wrap and tape. Kind of a serious package here, guys. Wow just for one trimmer. So you guys can see matte box, gloss black in the front, all in the details, wall high viz trimmer. I don't believe there's anything else on the box. Nope, everything is inside. Ooh, this is like a fancy magnet. You guys see it snapping back? Oh, wow. Hey, I'm talking about these guys are leveling up. I, my camera's gonna be too zoomed out, but you guys can see in the top, nice and clean, all in the details, wall high viz. And in the bottom, I mean, this is like a display at a hair show, so you can see everything. I'm sure underneath this is all the stuff that comes with it. We'll go ahead and read through this and then we'll get this thing out. Precision in full view, designed with a slim neck, the high vis trimmer provides enhanced visibility so you can deliver perfect lines and intricate designs. So that is similar to our skeleton that we call it on a lot of other trimmers, just basically more opening here at the top so you guys can see what you're working with. Trimming power perfective, adaptive speed control provides perfect power through all hair types to ensure a clean hit with every pass. So that sounds similar to kind of the new technology that was in the Instinct, I think maybe the JRL has it, but basically it will up the RPMs or manage the speed of the clipper to adjust to different bulk. And if it senses some drag or anything like that, it will kind of speed up and make sure that it never slows down and gets bogged down. Assembled by hand in the USA, guys, this is done in Illinois. I've actually wanted to always go up there and check out the factory. I think some of the parts come from China, but they are put together and assembled and boxed up and all that here in the States. Runs cooler, lasts longer. Diamond like carbon coated blades stay eight times sharper than standard steel blades. Zero in on the details. The ability to zero gap your trimmer means clean hits and clear lines. Comfort in every curve, all metal and well balanced. The comfort curve design makes a full day's work a lighter lift. Guys, this lettering is on here. You can feel it kind of fancy. This box is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get this out and set it to the side and see how we take that out. All right, so this is all one piece here on top. I don't know if there's anything else in it. Nope, that is it. See, my box has shifted a little bit, but that's not important. This is some fancy stuff, guys. This might be the most serious unboxing we've ever done. Get that out of the way. You can see, I'll just go ahead and take all these out. We'll get the box out of the way and check it out. All right, guys, so three boxes came with it. I believe there's a charging dock. That's probably that one. Go ahead and now I'm wrong as soon as I bust it out. So let's go ahead and open all of them and we will check them out. So we have a charging cord you guys can see. I think this is basically made so if you are in the US, you can just put this adapter in. I don't even know how to do this. Oh, okay, there you go. And if you were in the UK, it probably comes with a different one here and you can pop that in. Same thing with the base, guys. I believe the wall bases now come with different pieces like this that you just snap in. And now that is our charging base. The cord will go into the back here and I actually saw something cool. Let's line it up. So you guys can see the cord can go either direction and it can kind of go up underneath so that you can put stuff next to it so it doesn't, uh, you know, hit other stuff on your station. Go ahead and get this out of the way, guys. These are our instruction manuals and all that. You know, I don't ever really look at that stuff, but there is some important warranty stuff in there for some of you guys if you want to use your warranties. You know, if you guys have issues with your clippers, here's our standard clipper oil and a little brush. We do have a bigger fade brush, clipper cleaning brush. It's actually kind of stiff, probably to clean your clipper off. This is our blade cover. And this is, I think, Wall's new zero gapping tool. So I have not used this. We will adjust this clipper as soon as we check it out with this trimmer. But this is our zero gapping tool, so a little screwdriver. And uh, basically this is gonna put the blade down in here and we'll zero gap it. So we will do that here in a minute after we check out the trimmer. All right guys, so here is the wall high vis. You can see it is a chrome finish. It has some type of plastic here on the front, a little protective covering. Let's go ahead and peel that off. Not really chrome, it's almost like a brush. It's shiny, but it's not too shiny. It does have some texture here, if you guys can see, kind of a diagonal, uh, like a diamond pattern 
crisscross that's actually pretty textured for your thumb to sit on. So whichever hand you hold it in, it is textured. Kind of that standard bevel. I feel like the detailer has that same shape. There are three lights right here. I'm not sure exactly what they do. Probably show us our battery life and show it when it's charging. You can see on the side, high viz. Here's our power switch. We do have a USB-C on the bottom. It did not come with a USB-C, but it does have a charger and it does have the charging port here. So if you guys don't want to use the dock, you can plug the cord straight into the trimmer. I think everybody likes docks these days. We got the same texture pattern on the back. You guys can see all metal. It does have a black blade. Now this is a new blade. I don't think I've seen this blade before. So I really thought it would have the detailer blade on it or a similar style. Obviously it's not the detailer blade if it's on different trimmers, but I thought that's what it was going to be, but this looks slightly different. And like I said, guys, we are going to zero gap this now that we've checked it out. So. Anyway, I will get the trimmer charging real quick. We're gonna pop the blade off and I'm gonna figure out how to zero gap it. I don't necessarily know how, but I'll figure it out with you guys, show you how to do it, and then we'll test these things out. So first important thing, guys, I don't recommend using this screwdriver to take this blade off because it is so small. So what we're gonna do is get in the drawer, get out my big screwdriver, go ahead and take these two screws off on top. I imagine this will operate just like the other blade, the detailer blade I was talking about. Most of the blades from the same companies are usually similar, so. All right, so first off, let me hold it up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's actually fairly decent on the gapping. I keep pulling it out. It's not too bad, but basically guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna loosen these two screws in the middle here. We're gonna place it in here. It's gonna allow us to push it up snug. Let's see, this should snap in. Yep, so it's snapped in. Now you can see we can move well, we can't move it yet because I haven't loosened it. Man, sorry guys, I'm just sloppy today. Can you tell I've been out of the country? That was a brutal trip, let me tell you. So we're gonna loosen these two metal screws. So on these blades, guys, this piece right here, this uh, it's kind of brown actually, this brown piece is held by these screws. It goes in this groove, and whenever you tighten the screws to that location, wherever you want it, it is gonna hold it so that when you put it on in that groove, it will stay exactly where you want. So now that we have it there, we push it forward and pushing it forward is gonna go all the way to zero gap. I like to hold it here so I can hold the back of it with these fingers, pull the blade snug with these fingers, then we'll come in here and tighten the blade. And obviously guys, after you tighten the screws, you wanna check and make sure that it looks straight. Sometimes even with the zero gapping tool, it'll be a little bit off. So we'll just pop that out, there we go. Now to put it back on guys, the two metal pins right here are gonna go in the grooves on the blade, you guys can see. Man, I'm about just botching this for you guys. Can you tell I don't work with wall tools all the time? So the two metal pieces should go in those grooves. And then right here, the cam follower down inside of here needs to go in there. Once you get it lined up, it is spring loaded guys. So hold it with your fingers, hold it snug. All right, once you get one close, don't snug it all the way down. I'll show you guys why in a minute. Go ahead and put the second screw in. So you guys wanna get them close, but not too tight. A lot of blades have a little bit of room to wiggle this way. So we wanna make sure that it is straight. It's straight up and down. You can come over here and look, make sure that it looks centered, and then we can snug it down and we should be good. I'll go ahead and turn them on. You guys can hear them. All right, let's test it out. Like I said, guys, I have no hair on the back of my hand right here. We're gonna test it. Oh, they feel sharp. Not too bad. You can see, if I get some white ash line on my skin, you know that they're hidden. So, those feel pretty good. They actually feel pretty sharp. Not too sharp though, they didn't cut me or anything. I'm gonna do a little bit with it. You guys know I don't have a ton of lineup, so we'll ball out with it a little bit, see how it does with that. Try to do a lineup. If not, guys, I will take it out in the shop, let some of my guys try it and get their opinions as well and we'll catch up at the end and see what I think about it. All right guys, we got Collier in the chair. We're gonna test out the high vis trimmers. I got a full lineup to do, so I figured this was a good one. I'm gonna try to ball something out with them as well, maybe on another cut, obviously, since this cut is finished. But we're gonna see if these things hit. I uh, zero got them in the video you guys saw. I did use CJ and Peters in the UK, and I'll be honest, they were not hitting. But you see your boy knows how to set some trimmers. So CJ and Peter, if you need me to set yours for you, just, just holler at your boy. But you guys can see already some nice sharp lines. Pretty quiet. Gets a decent little crunch sound. I'll work up around the ear. Definitely has some crunch, so. I was surprised to see a totally new blade on this. I didn't really hear much about it at all. I just assumed it was gonna have a detailer blade. That's something they already have and it's on most of the other trimmers. So you guys can see these things are actually kind of smacking. I'm definitely impressed. I was not expecting it. Like I said, after I used theirs, I wasn't loving them too much. I kind of gave them a hard time to be honest, but maybe I'm gonna eat my words now. So you guys see nice and sharp up to around the ear. Really see what it does on the front hairline here in a second. But no complaints on this so far. I did notice I, I used it the other day a little bit 
and holding it like I am now is decent, but if you bring your other finger up around here, it's a wedge right here, so the only surface area that your finger sits on is this front little panel, and so it's a little hard to kind of rock. So I, I would tell you to kind of grip it from the sides. You get a little bit better of a grip on it than across the front. You guys see I'm able to pivot, get that line around the ear nice and sharp. Uh, just a little clean up here. We'll do the other side, and then we're gonna hit that front hairline and see what they're really talking about. All right guys, so we tested out the high viz on a lineup. Now we're just gonna ball that out. I'm giving Chris here a ball fade. We're just gonna ball that with him and see how they work. I can already tell you, based off of using them on the lineup, they definitely cut no problem. This line is gonna be super sharp and I wouldn't necessarily do this, but we're here to test out the trimmer. So you guys can see nice and sharp. Obviously when we're balling out, we're looking for kind of snagging or pulling and there's none and that is super bald. So I definitely got these things adjusted super nice. The ones I used before were not so nice, but just like any trimmer guys, sometimes you gotta set it a couple of times, you gotta kinda move it around and you will get it to cut a little bit better. So these are cutting no problem. Definitely powerful enough, get a nice little crunch sound. And you guys saw on the lineup, there was no problem there as well. So not too bad. I'll give you guys my final thoughts here in a second. All right guys, so that is it for my unboxing and review on the wall high viz trimmer. And I will leave you guys with this. If you are wall people, if you use a senior or a magic clip, this needs to go right alongside it if you like to have all wall tools. Probably the best trimmer that they have put out yet. With that being said guys, a couple things I don't like about it. I really don't like the silver. I like stuff that's more matte black or maybe some brighter colors and the silver is kind of old school. And you guys may notice that traditionally wall school kind of does those old school traditional colorway so you have like the maroon magic clip everything's black and silver now they have the black and gold magic clip but they're pretty limited on their different colors not very much that is bright from wall so i guess this fits right in with kind of how they do things but for me i would prefer some different colors or even all black would have been sweet on this the grips right here aren't too bad the little uh, etched diamond patterns that i talked about does give you a little bit of grip but like i said in the video guys when i was holding it and trying to pivot around the ear all I had was this small surface area of this little ridge on top for my finger to rest on. A little bit of an uneasy grip, so I would recommend you guys hold it maybe from both sides or when you're scooping out, not a problem there. You got your thumb on this little bevel and the rest of your hand is on it so you can hold it no problem. So that is not too big of a deal. Other than that guys, plenty powerful. You guys saw it did nice sharp lines, it balled it out no problem and it actually was super bald. I did have to adjust it, so if you guys do order this, Definitely get that tool out, mess with it a little bit until you get it cutting exactly how you want, but it is definitely capable of that. And like I said, my guys Peter and CJ, I had used theirs, not gapped exactly like this. And actually I was talking to Peter and he saw my little video I put on Instagram and said, I guess I'm gonna have to zero gap mine if it majors hit that good. So these are definitely capable of nice sharp lines, super bald, balds out no problem. And like I said, if you're a wall person, you're definitely gonna wanna check it out. So I'm not exactly sure the wall website. I'm gonna put it right down here. It's probably like wallpro.com, something like that. But you guys, it will be right here and I will put it in the description below. If you guys wanna check out the high viz and I'm gonna throw it up on the screen right now so you guys can see how much it is if you wanna check it out. All right guys, so I don't have a ton of wall videos but I did test out the senior to see if it is still up there with some of the best clippers of 2023. So if you guys wanna check that video out, click right there and I'll catch you guys next time.